President of Ukraine accuses Russia of direct and open aggression this morning, but despite NATO evidence to the contrary, Russians say they have not mounted a military intervention in the conflict between Ukraine and separatist rebels. The two countries are meeting for peace talks in Belarus, where the goal is to reach a ceasefire. Elizabeth Palmer's in London. Elizabeth, good morning. Good morning. Well, even though there are multiple diplomatic initiatives underway in the U.S. and Belarus, as you mentioned, in Europe, NATO, and Russia, the ground war in Ukraine does appear to be escalating, slowly but surely. Ukraine and Russia briefly called time on hostilities at a border point on Sunday to swap prisoners. But just hours later, President Vladimir Putin was on the offensive again in the war of words that surrounds this conflict. On Russian state television, he called for talks to discuss statehood for southeast Ukraine. Though almost immediately, Kremlin spin doctors insisted he wasn't calling for regional independence. In Brussels, Ukraine's president, Petro Poroshenko, warned European leaders they've got a serious crisis on their doorstep. The point of return is full-scale war, which already, almost, which already happened. Russia's clear support of the Ukrainian rebels, political and military, has boosted their confidence. They are firmly in control of most of Donetsk and Luhansk, where the fighting began six months ago. And they're now consolidating their hold on the city of Novoazovsk, which they seized last week. Just 20 miles away lies the industrial center of Mariupol, widely assumed to be next on the pro-Russian rebels list. But they won't be welcome here. Residents came out on the weekend to show their support for the Ukrainian government. In town, a local store was outfitting Mariupol men to join militia units being formed to fight the rebels, while in the next room, women volunteers wove rags into camouflage nets. Everyone bracing for a battle Russia still seems determined to back. Ukraine asked European leaders for help in standing up to Russia on the weekend, but so far all those leaders have proposed are more sanctions, perhaps later this week. Margaret? Perhaps. Thank you, Liz.